Good afternoon from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Monday and this video is part of a collaboration. The collaboration was put together by Rose and Ryan and family over at Wholesome Roots. Please have a look at uh, Wholesome Roots. They will have the playlist of all the other channels involved and all that good stuff. So Wholesome Roots and I'll have a link below also. So this video is for the collaboration. I think there's going to be a whole gob of great channels that are included in this collaboration and it will be ongoing. Once again, Wholesome Roots, uh, go check them out and you'll learn more about it. This video, I want to show you three varieties of plants that I'm going to be growing for the very first time. So let's get started. The first plant that I'm going to uh, plant this year uh, was a gift to me from Renate Butler and she sent me some purple cone flowers. These uh, came from MI Gardener. So a link to MI Gardener up there and below, but these are purple cone flowers. The scientific name uh, that a lot of people know is Echinacea. So I have never grown these before and I've got these seeds from MI Gardener and these I believe are going to go in a lasagna bed out in the main flower patch. So thank you again to Renate Butler for the gift of these seeds and I'm going to give them a try. Let's see how they do. The second plant that I have never grown before, this was also a gift to me, and I love these types of gifts where people save their seeds. You know, we talk about self-sufficiency, well, <laughs> you know, in a, uh, in a uh, stuff hits the fan type situation, there won't be any Baker Creek seeds or MI Gardeners or Johnny Select or the Seed Savers or... So I, I'm kind of uh, really proud to uh, be able to get somebody's heirloom seeds that they're passing on to me. I don't know if you, but these seeds are really cool. They got the, the black and, and the little white seed part coming up. But these are climbing hyacinth, and it is a purple bean type uh, flower. They're supposed to grow a good 10 to 15 feet. It's an annual. And so I'm not exactly sure where these will go, but uh, again, they came from Uncle Hoss. Have a look at his channel, link below also. And I love getting these uh, hand-me-down seeds. So uh, this is great, and I will be giving the Climbing Hyacinth a try. If you've grown these before, please leave me any suggestions. I'm just starting to read up on them and research. The third seed, that I have never tried growing before was also a gift. All three of these were gifts. <laughs> oh, the homesteading community on YouTube is wonderful. These were a homestead warming gift that I got right after I got here. And um, these are just awesome. So these came from Jason at Cog Hill Farm. And he sent me a sticker too. But he sent me some Seminole pumpkin seeds. I really look forward to growing these uh, Seminole pumpkin seeds from uh, Jason over at Cog Hill Farm. He has grown them. He's got a, uh, yeah, check out his channel. And also he has uh, at least, well, more than two, but I'm gonna link to two of his videos about the Seminole pumpkins. Uh, in the first video he is planting them and he didn't plant them until July I believe and then the second video it shows the Seminole pumpkin harvest and what he got out of it as a you know late fall harvest so that was really cool um, and who knows maybe some of these seeds came from those pumpkins that he harvested but once again I, I really enjoy getting uh, you know hand-me-down seeds that uh, uh, that people have grown before and, and saved and collected their own seeds and I just think that's incredible. Uh, these seminal pumpkins, I haven't 100% decided yet, but they might be part of a Three Sisters 
uh, garden patch. I do have some corn and I do have some uh, climbing beans. Well, I've got those hyacinth beans, so yeah, maybe I'll have to do more than one. <laughs> more than one Three Sisters garden. Uh, but anyway, Seminole pumpkins, if you've never grown them, give them a look. They're supposed to make excellent pies, according to Jason. So thanks again to Renate Butler, to Uncle Haas, and to Jason from Cog Hill Farm for sending me seeds to help me get going here on the homestead. And how about you? What three seeds are you going to grow this year that you've never grown before? I can't wait to see all the other videos, so go have a look at Wholesome Roots. Thanks again to Rose and Ryan and family for putting this awesome collaboration together. And let's see what all the new varieties that people are putting in, into the ground or, well, doesn't have to be in the ground. They can go in containers or all kinds of stuff. So, all right, catch you tomorrow.